Hey guys, Ultraman52 here. Welcome to the new Gundam Hall video. Um, I have a lot of kits to show off in this video. Um, one high grade, one SD kit, two real grades, one's a P Bandai, and the rest are all real grades, except for, sorry, and the rest are all master grades, except for one that's actually a Super Robot Wars kit. Oh yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get started, guys, so roll that intro. Alright, guys, welcome back. Uh, first off, I would like to apologize for the lighting. It might not be that great, but I tried my absolute best, so please note that. So... And I apologize for the glare on some of these kits because some of them still have the shrink wrap on them. So there might be glare even if they don't have the shrink wrap. But again, I will try to make sure that the glare does not happen. But also, this setup is just temporary. Again, just a temporary setup and kids screaming in the background because I'm literally right outside, outside the pool. But yeah. Anyways, uh, first kit I want to show off is actually a SD. And we have an SD kit, a high grade kit, two real grades that actually are, one of them in fact is a, is a P Bandai. The rest are all master grade except for one, the final kit I'm going to show, which I'm going to show off at the end of the video because it's not a Gundam, it's actually a kit from Kotobukiya that's actually a Super Robot Wars kit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love you Macho Man so much. I'm so sad that you died. I love you so much, Macho Man. Okay, anyways. First kit we got to show off here is the SD Cross Silhouette Shin Getter or Shin Getter Robo. Love the look of, of the Shin Getter. I actually have a, um, already have, I actually already have a Cross Silhouette kit um, of another Super Robot, from another Super Robot, and it's actually uh, Mazen Kaiser. I actually have it um, over there on one of my shelves. But yeah. I want to get the Shin Gear to kind of, you know, complete the two because they go hand in hand together. And the reason why it's a cross the little way is because you can make it either a normal standard SD that has barely any articulation, or you can actually give it more articulation by giving it elbows and knees. It's freaking awesome. But very, very cool. Again, there's the front, a very nice shot of the Shin Getter in both cross silhouettes. All that right there. Right there. Cool part is that um, all the text on here is in Japanese, but below the Japanese is actually complete translated in a hundred percent English. So it's showing that Bandai knows there are people out here in the states and also everywhere else that also build these kits, and they're actually starting to release them with English, um, with English, with, with official English trans translations to their instructions too, which is awesome. So, I'm actually going to leave the cross of the wet down here because I have a few bigger things to show up that are going to go on top of those. Basically, the cross of the wet is going to go on top of bigger kits. But let's take a look at the only high grade we have here. The only high grade we have is a pretty big one, and it is the high grade Kshatriya from Gundam Unicorn. This is kind of the rival to the Unicorn Gundam until the Banshee shows up. But, yeah, I forget what this, um, I forget the name of the Kshatriya, what's up there, let me rewrite that. I forget which mobile suit the Kshatriya is based on. It's actually based on a mobile suit from Double Zeta. I forget its name, though. I think it's Double Zeta. I think it is, I don't know. But, yeah, very cool. It's mainly got the big box because of the giant wings. Which, uh... Again, I'll provide a little subtitle here, what this, uh, what the Kshatra is in fact based on. But, yeah, I love the box art, by the way, very nice. Put the Kshatra right here. There we go. Oh, there we go, right there, okay. Might be kind of cutting up the band a little bit, actually. There we go, hey, that looks great. Okay, so, now, I'm going to show off the, the two real grades. And now, again, one of them is a P Bandai. But we're not going to show the P Bandai just yet. We're going to show the standard one first. This kit literally just got released 
almost a month ago and it's still the hottest thing right now. It is essentially the best real grade ever released from what fans have said. It is the newly released real grade of the new Gundam from Mobile Suit Gundam Char's Counter-Attack. Very awesome box art. Now please note, want to look at the box art of this. This is a standard normal real grade box. Nothing special, just the Gundam with the head there looking pretty standard and like all those colors. Very standard colors for a real grade box. So there's the front. There is the bottom of the box. Again, there is English text too, which is awesome. The side, here, there's a the good side. Here's the, oops, oh, look out. Right there. Now there is gonna be coming out soon another release of the real grade new Gundam. And all it is going to be, it's gonna be the exact same kit, but it's gonna have a few extra action bases for the kit, as well as some effect parts for the fin funnels. Now, realistically, what you could do to save um, time, if you really, really wanted it that badly, all you could basically do is just order a couple action bases off of Amazon, eBay, or any other kind of hobby store slash Gundam site or whatever. Um, which those cost about five to ten dollars ish, really depending on where you get it. So that covers the action bases that would come with the uh, December release, and there are effect parts that they sell separately that are very, very similar to the ones that are coming out in the December release of the new Gundam, and those are also like five, like uh, five dollars ish each, really, if not a little more. So. All in all, with the standard release of the new Gundam, plus the extra uh, effect parts and the extra accurate base that, that you would have to buy, realistically, would probably be about maybe $5 more than the uh, price of the one coming out in December. So, and a $5 difference is nothing. That's really nothing. Honestly, the December release is pretty useless because you're just essentially getting the exact same kit that's already out with just like five or ten dollars extra stuff so that's really it <laughs> but that's just like one man's opinion and we're actually going to put the cross silhouette on top of the real grade new and hopefully it doesn't fall though i swear to god fine if i hit the desk it might fall so yeah now next real grade is the p bandai now i should mention what is a p bandai a P Bandai is a limited edition or exclusive release of a particular mobile suit. Um, usually, how to get them, you would have to go on to Bandai's official website to get them, or go, I believe, to the Gundam base in Japan, sorry, well, the official Gundam store slash base in Japan, and buy them there. Now, you can go to Bluefin Brands and get this one I'm about to show you for 40 bucks shipped which is a incredible steal and the reason why it is that way because that because bluefin brands is the official site for bluefin.com where you can buy p bandai they literally just started doing that um so they're probably going to end up putting more p bandai on there eventually but it's going to be a slow process this kit might be sold out by the time this video goes up again i don't know but what, what is it it is the P Bandai Real Grade Tall Geese 3. Yeah, I showed this up on my Facebook and I am so excited to have this because Tall Geese 3 is my favorite Tall Geese from Gundam Wing. Uh, this is from the Endless Waltz OVA slash movie. But yeah. Now again, notice the difference. There's the box for the Real Grade New Gundam. Tall Geese 3 box. As you can see, it's got a blue highlight to it. That's the one thing you can tell if it's a if it's a P Bandai. They've done P Bandai's of master grades, real grades, and uh, high grades, and they'll always have a highlight to the box. To the, the entire box will have a highlight. It'll be pink, green, red, blue, white. Sometimes, just, just really depends. Really, I mean, some go for like yellow or whatever. But still, yeah, that's the way you can tell if, if it's a P Bandai because it's gonna have that highlight to the whole entire box. And 
Nothing really on the side of the box to show off that show off the kit. But yeah, I am so excited to finally have the Tall Geese 3. There, ironically enough, does exist a master grade of the Tall Geese 3, but P Bandai. And yeah, it's like near $100 now for that kit. So I really wish Bandai would repop that master grade as a standard release, but they're never going to. It's Bandai. Um, a lot of their P Bandai's shouldn't be P Bandai's. Like, a majority of the Endless Waltz uh, Master Grades, like the Sandrock Custom, the Ultron Custom, Tall Geese 3, and the Heavy Arms Custom, all four of those are P Bandai's, when they shouldn't be P Bandai's. Grant, you can get the um, 1 to 100 No Grades, and those are just as big as the Master Grades. You usually don't get the extra little bit of detail and of course the inner frame, but the cool part about the master, about the 1 100 no grade of the Tall Geese 3 is that it actually comes with the heads of Tall Geese 1 and Tall Geese 2. So you could technically buy three of those, uh, of those 1 100 no grades, and make the Tall Geese 1, 2, and 3 out of them. So you have the option, which is cool. But I think they're does exist a, a real grade of the Tall Geese 2, but again, P Bandai most likely. P Bandai. Um, but I know there is a real grade of the Tall Geese 1 because it's a normal Bandai release and not a P Bandai. But yeah, again, a link down below if you want to get the real grade uh, Tall Geese 3 because from what I've heard, it's a pretty damn good the Next, good showing kit. off all the master grades, uh, this one is of a kit that I. So I have a suit that I actually really like. I don't think it gets as much love as it should, but it's the master grade of the Cubelay, piloted by Haman Khan in Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam and Mobile Suit Double Zeta Gundam or ZZ Gundam. Yeah, um, there does exist technically a newer release of the Cubelay master grade called the Cubelay Damned, but from what I've heard, that kit is very, very mixed. I've heard it's good, it's bad. It's the whole mixed bag, really. Um, but this kit was also released in 2001, so this is almost a 20-year-old kit. And I think this kit desperately needs a 2.0 release. With an updated frame, updated joints, and just a little bit better, I think, in my opinion. But yeah, I think we're going to actually put you... Um, and let's go ahead and put you over here. I don't know, look right there. The new gun is gonna be a little bit covered. Oh, <laughs> sorry. There we go. Yeah, we put you right there. So almost the uh, the shin getter almost fell. That was uh yeah that was what happened right there. But next we have the master grid that essentially is the best master grid ever released from what fans have said. It can hold the post fine. It can it can literally stand on one leg and still hold hold the the damn pose, which is awesome. So we have the master grade of the Gundam Dynamis from Gundam 00. Yeah! Um, this kit came out, I think, yeah, earlier this year, so yeah, it says 2019 right there. But yeah, you do get all that cool part, you do get a light up GN drive, which is cool. I'm definitely going to be putting batteries in this thing and lighting this SOB up. Very, very cool. Very nice box art, too, by the way. Love the box art. I'm gonna put you right here, to the side. Because shot tree's gonna get covered up, but, you know, whatever. I actually put it right there so you can kind of see the, the shot tree right there and also more so of the dynamis. Yeah. Now, next Master Gray, this one I wanted so bad because I saw the, um, Gundam base clear variant of this kit, but I'm like, you know what? I gotta have the standard map because it looks so cool. It's big and chunky and it transforms, but I'm probably never gonna transform, please note. Um, sorry for me being off camera. It's just kind of hard for me to be on camera and kind of laying back, but yeah. Well, sorry, leaning back, but yeah. We have the, this was released in 2017. We have the master grade of the ZZ Gundam or the Double Zeta Gundam. Verka. Now, what does Verka mean? Verka is version Katoki, and it is a kind of a stylized 
kind of really variant of the Double Zeta. Not a gigantic difference in terms of this version and the original Master Grade, which I think that the Verka looks way better than the standard Master Grade, that's just my opinion. Plus, the Verka actually has more detail on it compared to the standard Master Grade. But, yeah. It also has a updated frame, too, and just overall is a much more solid kit than the original release. But, yeah. Also, this is also... I should also mention this is my first uh, Verka kit, officially for like the box art wise. Because, um, yeah. Because technically the Sinanjo I have is the Verka. Well, is the, even though it's the OVA variant, the first one that came out was the Verka. So it essentially is a retooled Verka. But, I mean, in terms of like for box art wise, it's, it's my first ever. But yeah. So, pretty damn cool on that one. Same thing goes like, for the Shenlong. Um, the Shenlong is technically a Verka, even though it's not part of the Verka line. And there's not too many kits in that Verka line, really. There's Sinanju, there's the Unicorn, the Banshee, um, there's Wing EW, uh, there's Sinanju Stein, I believe, and I know, I'm pretty sure there, there's a f about three or four more, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that there's a few more. But. Yeah, and that's all the Gundam kits here. Tell them that you're not really a Gundam cross it shouldn't get her, but whatever. Um, this kit, the final kit I'm going to show off is a Kotobukiya kit from Super Robot Wars. And this kit I wanted so badly after seeing it originally. Not in-game, but the kit-wise for it. And I'm definitely going to support um, Kotobukiya more and show, them, and show them some more love. It's only unfortunate because Kotobukiya here in the States is nowhere near as popular as Bandai. Nowhere near as popular. So, getting their kits in is possible, it just takes quite a bit of time and also money, because I spent almost $100 on this exact kit just to get it um, here, or I get it to my hobby shop. Uh, Brian, uh, hey Brian, if you're watching this video, he ordered it for me, he, sorry, he special ordered it for me, and I couldn't thank you enough, dude. It was, a, again, an, an almost $100 kit to order, but I am so happy. I actually have had this kit for a few months now, I just, I just never showed it off. But, we have, and this should be in 1 to 100 scale, even though the box says none scale, or no scale. But anyways, we have from Kotobukiya, and this is from apparently Super Robot Wars Z3, Jin Goku Hen, or that could be Ten Goku Hen. But there also is a sticker here that says uh, SRWOG, which means Original Generations. Um, but this also, I think, stands for Original Mecha as well, but anyways, here we have Shrulaga Sin, yeah, this thing I am so excited to build, look at that box art, for, the box art is so sick, there actually is another variant of this kit, uh, I forget which one it is, but I think it's more of a, I think it's kind of like a metallic finish or whatever, something like that, I forget. Um, but I like this box art a hell of a lot more. But, and the side, more gibberish along with a nice shot of the kit, along with uh, that one right there is I believe Cybuster. He's another uh, SRW Mecha, that's an OG one. And on the other side we have, what well, comes with this kit, and the kit does actually transform into I think what's called the Black Swan mode. But yeah, look look at him, he's so cool looking. He's so creepy and demon looking ish, he's just so badass. Ugh. But yeah, that this is the main kit I wanted to get for like months when I first saw it. I asked Brian again if I could if he could special order it, and he did. Thank you so much, Brian, if you're watching this. But yeah, friggin' amazing. Uh, I'm not gonna build this shit. All of these I still need to build. I have built a few kits off um, off camera. I, I built um, the cross silhouette um, Mazen Kaiser. I've also built the new high grade of the Destiny Gundam along with my first ever perfect grade, the Zaku 2 perfect grade. Um, I've also built the Dreadnought, the Love Phantom, and the Air Master. So I have a few kits down, which is good. Um, but yeah, um, I'm now in the process of building my, oh, and I also did build 
the uh, Musha Gundam Mark II Master Grade. I don't have it here at my place right now. It's actually over at my local hobby shop on display there because two reasons. One, everyone who's built something there has something there on display to kind of show it off. Uh, and I never had one, so, and I, I never had something there. So I decided to leave the Mark II there for the, the time being. I, I intend to get it back soon. Um, once I get my game room slash collection room set up, I'm going to bring the uh, Mark II back. Um, to, to bring it to its, its new home. <laughs> or, sorry, its permanent home, but yeah. Um, the other reason why is because a friend of mine there built the Musha Gundam Mark I. So that's kind of the other reason to, to display both of them there. Because they're, they, they both look really cool together. I'll provide pictures at the end of this video of both kits side by side. Please note, Musha Gundam Mark 1 will be on your left side of the screen and Mark 2 will be on your right side of the screen. So, little thing right there. But yeah, um, again, Musha Mark 1 will be on your left side of the screen, sorry, will be on your right side of the screen and Mark 2 will be on the left side. So yeah. So, but that is all. That is the haul. Uh, let me know what, what you guys thought of it all. Uh, comments, questions, all that stuff, concerns down below. Thumbs up will be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not new to the channel, because I upload a lot of I, I talk about genuinely everything on my channel about games, movies, TV, anime, model kits, and all this good stuff, of course, and including kaiju as well if you're new to my channel. I love me some kaiju. So, again, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. And I hope you all enjoyed. And sign